Very few people ask me what kind of edges the drums have when they buy a new kit. But this is an essential part of our instrument that often is underestimated. We must know it perfectly. The bearing edge is the part of the shell where the drum head is in contact with. It is the primary outlet for energy to transfer between the drum head and the drum shell. Starting from the edge, the builders decide how many resonance, sensitivity and sound the shell will have. Mainly, there are three types of edges. With the standard 45 degree, there is minimal edge shell contact, so we have a good attack and plenty of sustain, because it allows the drum head to freely vibrate. Then we have 30 degree edge. There is more head shell contact with it, so we have a woody round sound with a little bit less attack and less sustained than 45 degree heads. It's a classic used on mostly Gretsch and Ludwig drums. Then we have round bearing edge. With this edge, there's maximum head shell contact. It was used by classic American vintage drums and gives a fat, woody, dark and mellow tone. It gives its best with larger size drums, enhancing mid to low frequency. We have a shorter tuning range with it, especially on small drums. To take the wrinkles out of the head, you need a couple of key turns more than 45 degree. Talking in general, more head shell contact gives a woody and drier response. Less head shell contact gives more sustain, more attack and an opener sound. There are four different building methods on drums. Cross laminated, stave segment, steam bending and solid shell. But why are drums mostly made of cross laminated? One of the biggest problem of drums is that the shell may go out or round as years go. Cross laminated is meant to create strength into the shell, plies are glued together then molded into a press. Some drum constructors add reinforcement rings on it to achieve more stability. The cross laminated process needs a lot of glue since a drum has from 6 to 40 plies glued together. Remember, more glue, less vibration. Less vibration, less sound. But cross laminated is the easiest, cheapest, and quickest way to build drum shell. Stave drum shell is made of solid hardwood pieces that are glued together by the edges. This process requires a fraction of the glue used in ply shell, and the wood is not stressed by any bending process, maximizing wood potential. Moreover, the grain of stave drums runs vertically, so the sound vibrations are directly transmitted by the wood veins, increasing sensitivity and giving a huge dynamic range. One ply steam bent shell is made bending a solid piece of wood by steam. This kind of construction allows to apply the glue all into the shell seam. Then glue and reinforcement rings are added to get stability on the drum, so it can stay in round over the years. Reinforcement rings also raise the fundamental pitch of the drum shell as mass is added. With this type of manufacturing, the wood freely vibrates, giving a warm, hairy and punchy sound with plenty of resonance. There is something special about the warmth, resonance and full-bodied sound that the hand-curved drums produce. This is the holy grail of drums. It sounds as one body without influence of glue, plies or seams. It has a great tonal balance and incredibly responds from a light touch to a heavy stroke. It's the best you can ask. <laughs>